whole chicken. That's my answer. What's the question? When shopping for groceries, what is the food that you wish you knew what to do with? I chose a whole chicken because when I was younger, I always th I only thought you could roast it, or maybe throw it in a crock pot. However, there's benefits of cutting up a whole chicken. When you cut up a whole chicken, it's very cost effective. They're often dollars per pound cheaper than buying pre-cut pieces. Uh, you get a variety of all the different pieces of the chicken, and they can be seasoned differently due to according to other people's taste buds and their preferences. I started cutting up whole chickens when I started dabbling in the food blogger world a couple years ago, and it's come in handy. Now I've got a family of six with four growing girls, so I'm always looking to stretch a dollar when I'm shopping for groceries. I like to cook different ways too, so I can use the different parts for different ways of cooking. Before we get started, you want to make sure to have a clean, clear work area so you don't cross-contaminate, get people sick with germs, that'd be a bad start. When you're cutting with the chicken, you want to use a sharp knife, because when you're cutting with a sharp knife, you use less force. And when you're using less force, you're less likely to slip, and when you're less likely to slip, you're less likely to cut yourself. So, clean, sharp knife. Let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the leg quarter. To do that, you just cut a slice through the uh, skin between the leg and the breast, then you flip it over. You want to pop that socket out of place so you can cut through the meat and find that break in the socket. And then just get a clean cut through there. There you go. Just want to do that for the other side as well. And then to remove the wing, you're going to do the same method here. Just going to cut through the skin and the meat. You're going to try to pop that socket out so you can find that joint. You want to cut through that joint as clean as you can. Sometimes it's not always clean. Practice makes perfect though. As you can see, I'm still practicing because it's clearly not perfect yet. However, You'll eventually get it, and then you just do the same thing on the other side. To remove the backbone, it's gonna, you're gonna use a little bit more force here, if you will. To start, you're just gonna stand it up, and then you're gonna use a firm grip. You're gonna cut down through the rib bones on each side, on each side here, and then when we get to the bottom, going to be a little bit of a thicker bone. You're going to use a little bit more pressure here. There we go. And eventually you'll get it. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And there we have removed our backbone. Now let's flip the breast. We're going to flip it over. We're going to cut through the little cartilage here in the middle. And then cutting through this little wishbone area here will require even more force than cutting through the backbone. So you got to be careful. you got to make sure to be careful. And then you're going to put some good pressure on it. Starting from above here. There we go. And we just cut through the meat. Cut through the skin on the bottom. And we got our separated, separated breasts here. And for here, we got, we got some good pieces. When I, whenever I'm grilling, I, I usually uh, leave the chicken like this. It's got the bone in, so it's going to dry out not as easy. Um, also, the bone adds good flavor when you're stewing things. Uh, whenever I'm cooking chicken and dumplings for my wife, I always have the pieces like this. But you can break them down even further, and let's see how we do that. Uh, to separate the little drumette from the wingette, we're going to follow the same method as, as before with just about everything else. Cut through. We're gonna remove this the bones here, pop them out of socket. Cut through. Sometimes it'll be clean, sometimes not. There we go. We'll cut through the tip, doing the same thing. Cut through. There we go. Easy peasy. Alright, we're gonna separate the leg and the thigh now. Same method. We're just gonna cut through the skin and the meat. There'll be a little bit more meat on this one uh, to cut through. But we're just going to go down here and find that socket and pop it out of socket. We're going to cut 
slice through that joint and then we're going to have our drumstick and our thigh ready to go. We'll just do the same thing for each other pieces. And then to debone the chicken breast, we're going to trim the meat from the bone. We're going to cut as close as we can to try to preserve the amount of meat that we get. Less waste, the better. So we're just going to trim off, trim off this cartilage area here too. And there's some rib bones that have to be taken out. And then, after we do that, we're gonna we're gonna cut through a little half of the uh, the wishbone is gonna be in here. We're gonna cut that out too, so we can make sure it's totally boneless. We don't want any bones in our boneless chicken here. Then after we remove that, we can just remove the uh, remove this chicken tear here. And there we go. We got a boneless chicken breast. And to make it boneless skinless, all you do is take the skin off. There you go. That easy. And there we go. We've got two breasts, two tenders, two thighs, two legs, two wingettes, two drumettes. That's not even including the backbone, which we have as well. So for $5.76, I was able to get 10 pieces of chicken from a whole chicken. Uh, that's allowed me to save a lot of money. Uh, like I said earlier, you can use the, the different pieces for different recipes and different ways of cooking. And when they're cut up like this, they can be frozen easier for for using in the future. They'll thaw out faster too. Um, you can season different pieces for different flavor profiles of your guests. So there we go. Um, for an easy, 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 uh, easy extra credit in the discussion, just comment below if you've ever cut up a whole chicken before, or if you plan to. What what recipe will you be using? And uh, and we'll see. Be good to hear.